All right, so the very last thing we want to do is add in our new our uh, load map form. So let's add in a new form. Load map form. I'm just going to copy over the components of that, but it's pretty much identical to the the save map form to be honest. The only difference is that we're going to be adding a um, load file dialog instead of a save file dialog. Sorry, an open file dialog is what I mean to say. If I could find it here. Open file dialog, there it is. Okay. So, what we want to do is again. I'm just going to hit the browse button this time. We're just going to add in our one variable. So we declare the load file name. String load file name. Okay. And I haven't actually shown you the names that I've given these. So I should do. Even though they're pretty much identical to the see a file one so it's just called file name again it's just called browse button ok button and cancel button alright so if you haven't gotten much experience using forms and stuff this is a great opportunity to learn it's very very easy all you can all you have to do is just drag what you want onto the form and you can change all the properties down here in the properties window if you don't know how to get to the properties window you just go to view and properties window that's it so let's go back to the code here. I'm just going to double click the cancel button and return the oh, cancel dialog result. This dot dialog result equals dialog result dot cancel. Okay, so in the browse button, I'm just going to copy this over. It's going to be very similar to the save one the save file dialog as well. Um so we set the initial directory, we set the title and set the file name to nothing. Then we want to set the filter for text files only. So that's the filter for text files. Filter index one and then we want to get load file. So if the dialog result for this does not equal dialog result dot cancel, then we want to get and display the load file name. Otherwise, we'll set it to zero, set it to nothing. Um, the last thing we want to do is the OK button, which actually has a bit in it as well, surprisingly. So we want to check that the tile sheet has been loaded before the map file is loaded. So if the tile sheet does not equal null, then we can load the, m the map. Otherwise, uh, it's going to show a message saying load the tile sheet before loading the map. We want to update the map size and tile dimensions. Okay. That's just updating them from the map itself. That's what we've just loaded in. So we've loaded all the information from the map file, which includes that uh, map height, map width, tile height, and tile width. So they're stored in here now. Then we want to update our actual map height, map width variables that are in the game one class. Next, we want to update the size and tile dimensions of the map. So we we redeclare this map. Then we want to load the map again. And the reason we did that is because we ca we can't dynamically create the an array like that without prior knowledge of how big it's going to be. So we loaded the map just to find what the tile height and the tile width were, and the map height and map width. Then we redeclare the map, and then we load it again to fill the map arrays with the actual tile values. Then we want to reload the tile set as well. So we should actually, yeah, that's fine. Then we want to return the OK dialog result. So the last bit of this is we'll just check this compiles. Nope, apparently not. Uh, 
same thing again. Make this a capital. It's because I don't keep things consistent between my projects. Map underscore classes. And that should compile. Okay, so the last thing we want to change is the load map button. Okay, so this is what you want to put in here. So, as always, freeze the game, open, create the the load file, the load map form. Sorry, uh, show that dialog, then get the dialog result and reset the previous click. Like I said before, don't really need this check. But if you're going to expand it, which you might, it might be useful to have it in. I was going to do some more stuff with it, which is why I had this in. But uh, I knew it was going to be pressed for time as it was. So let's just check that that load file actually does work. So we'll load a tile sheet. I'm sure you could all find bugs with this and everything, but it's just, it's not worth it. There's there's loads more things that you can do with it. Um, I'm sure you could fix the bugs yourselves, and that'll probably be pretty fun to do. So we're gonna just test this load map function here. That was the test map that I just created in the in the save map one, and there you go. We have it completely uh, fixed. What I haven't actually said is that the right click will delete buttons. Uh, will delete. Uh, tiles, which is kind of cool. And it'll only delete on the layer that you're selecting, so you don't so you don't delete the things underneath. Which is kind of cool as well. So there you have it. I hope you've all enjoyed this, and I hope you've all learned some something from it. Um, I actually have a a mini tile game. It's only very very basic. It includes things like scrolling maps, collision detection. Um, stuff like that. Uh, that will be coming out soon as well, hopefully within the next couple of days. Um, okay, so if you like this, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Hope you enjoyed it.